Hey crafters, uh, today is Monday, December 12th, 2022. I know this video is a day late. Um, I was just not motivated to do it yesterday. So here it is on a Monday. All right, so we've got a pink baby blanket from my project pile. Now you guys remember, I said I was gonna do my project pile in chronological order from the oldest project all the way up to the newest project, right? Well, I got through 2000, 13, 2014, 2015, I think, and I'm up to 2016, but you know, while I have the blankets and I have the projects, I can't find any notes to anything, and I don't want to sit with the blankets and create a new set of notes when I know there's a set of notes floating around somewhere. So we're doing it out of order. We're going to do a blanket that I do have notes for. Um, hello everybody, my name is Jenny. Welcome to Granny Square Peg. It is a channel where I am going through everything that I own that is crochet related from yarn to blanket projects and other projects. And I am cleaning, organizing, and purging because I own too much stuff and it's time to get rid of some of it. So let's take a look at the blanket that I've got. Okay. <laughs> so take a look at this. This has got one shade of pink, a second shade of pink, a third shade of pink, and a fourth shade of pink. So you know what we're calling this? All the pink's baby blanket. <laughs> All right, so see that? That is a half double crochet done in between the stitches. Okay? There's some pretty border right there. I did six rounds on the border. So according to my notes, we are 48 inches wide by 35 inches tall. I wanted to reach 36, but I ran out of yarn. So 48 by 35. So let's take it down and we'll give you all the details on it. Okay, so here we go. All the pink baby blanket. I started it in August of 2019 and I finished it in September. All the yarn is a number three light or DK weight. The yarn that I used is Lion Brand Ice Cream Yarn. Okay, so where was I? Where was I? I forgot my yarn labels. All right, so I used three balls of Lion Brand Ice Cream Yarn. Here is the label, if I can get it. There we go. Lion Brand Ice Cream. All right, and the color was strawberry. I used three balls of the Lion Brand Ice Cream yarn. Okay, and then ball number four was leftovers from another project, which is that darker shade of pink that's in there. It is called Snuggly Wuggly from Loops and Threads at Michael's Craft Store. And the color was cotton, no, candy pink. Candy pink. Then the lighter shade of pink is still Snuggly Wuggly from Loops and Threads from Michael's. And it was called Cotton Candy. And then yarn ball number six is still Loops and Threads from Michael's. It's called Kai. Is that how you would pronounce that? And its color is happy. All right, so I got all kinds of details for you today. Um, I paid $2.50 for that ball of yarn, $2.50 for that one, $4.99 for this one. This one was $4.99, but I only used half an ounce of it, so <laughs> I can't even calculate that one. This one was $3.49. This one was $4.99, which gives me a total of $18.47. Okay? It is a total of 19.5 ounces. Yards are 1,936. My pattern. 
Okay, I used a crochet hook size E or 3.5 millimeter. I did a chain of 169 plus 2. And the plus 2, while it is your turning chain, also acts as a stitch. Because I did a half double crochet in between stitches. And I love doing a half double crochet in between stitches. It, it, I had a love affair with it a couple years ago. And you'll see so many blankets when I do these videos that are half double crochets in between stitches. Alright, so the blanket has the initial starting chain. And then it has row 1 to row 108. It's got 6 rounds on the border. Um, the Lion Brand Ice Cream Yarn. Since I used 3 full balls of that, it gave me a total of 76 rows. And you divide that by 3 and you get an average of 25.3 rows out of each ball of yarn. I got 3 rows out of the um, half an ounce of yarn that I used that was a leftover. And then the cotton candy pink at the top, I got 29 rows out of that. And I got 6 rounds out of the Loops and Threads Kai for the border. And then, then let's talk about how long it took me to make this blanket. On the average it takes about 10 minutes to do a row, 109 rows. 1090 minutes which equals 18.1 hours 30 minutes for the board for each round of the border times six is 180 minutes which is three hours add them together 21.1 hours to make if you want the dimensions without the border if you just want the body of the blanket it was 44 inches by 31 inches that is a lot of information Okay, but that's all the stuff I sat down with this morning and decided to go through it and count everything. I have all of it for you. So, this is Lion Brand Ice Cream, and it is the strawberry color. And um, this is not the first time I've used it. It's been in other projects. You'll see as we go along. So you'll see how, like, the pink is all mottled and mixed together. And then we get a little big group of white, and then a grouping of pink, and then back to white, and then pink. This was all in the same ball of yarn, but it looks fantastic though, doesn't it? And the Lion Brand Ice Cream, it's a super soft yarn to work with, but I'm hoping the camera can pick this up for you. See that? Half double crochets in between, because you know when you're working your stitches, you work in the top loops of a stitch, but when you do in between stitches, see that right there? literally is in between this half double crochet and this half double crochet where I worked at this one. I love the texture that it gives the blanket. Um, since I used a small hook with light yarn it, it's um, it made it very dense so I mean you really I have to really pull that apart so you can see the stitching but it's nice right? So that is the first ball of strawberry and then you can see where it goes back to this mottled pink and then it stripes again with white, pink, white, pink. That must be the second ball of it. And then here's the third ball where it's all mixed together again, right? And it's still mixed together and then it does the striping. It was weird the way these balls of yarns had worked up from the Lime Brand ice cream. So this is the Snuggly Wuggly from Loops and Threads. Uh, this was leftovers from another project. And I was just trying to use up all the pink yarn I had that was a number three light or DK weight. So I got roughly one, two, three, four rows out of this. I think I'd said three in my notes. So it's probably three and a half. Oh yeah, because there we go. Because that's where it ended right there. So then this is more snuggly wuggly here in their, um, what color did I say that was? Cotton candy? Yeah, to finish up the blanket. I know, it's random yarns. I don't mind mixing them together. Doesn't bother me. And then this is, <laughs> the color is called Happy. And sure enough, that is, look at that. It's got bright pink, it's got light pink. And then when you travel around the border, some of the pink actually gets really dark. And it gives it a purple tint. My camera is really showing purple on this. But it's just a bright fuchsia. 
So even for the border, I still did a half double crochet in between stitches. And then on my corners, because corners can be tricky, and it's very hard to create a corner in this stitch. So I did a half double crochet here, I chained two, and then I did a half double crochet here. So one on the long side of the blanket, one on the short side with a chain two. So then when I came back on the next round, I did a half double crochet up to there. I chained two. Oh, I did a half double crochet in the chain space. Yes. And then I chained two. And then I did another half double crochet in the chain space. It actually creates a really nice corner in your blanket. I mean, if you like big gaps, by all means, make it a chain three. Make it a chain one if you want it a little bit smaller and less pronounced than mine. But I kind of like it. So there we go. All the pinks baby blanket. What do you guys think? I think it's cute. I think it's random. <laughs> I think it's cute. <laughs> okay, so what'd you think of my um, all the pinks baby blanket? I actually, I know it's, I know it's random. I know that it is three balls of Lion Brand ice cream yarn, which is, which is beautiful all by itself, right? And Lion Brand is a beautiful yarn to work with. Uh, their ice cream line and their mandala yarn, I just, I absolutely love the softness and the texture of it. So this is, this is awesome. But when I got to the end of the third ball, I didn't want to go out and buy any more yarn. I felt like I had already had enough. So I went through my stash at the time and I found this little bit of darker pink. So I used the darker pink and I put it in there. Is it a full on scrap blanket? No, because it's got three brand new balls of yarn and it's got brand new ball of yarn and a brand new ball of yarn. It's only got a little bit of leftovers in it. <laughs> um, this stuff that's called Snuggly Wuggly from Loops and Threads from Michael's The Craft Store. It's okay. When they first started out, it had a rough texture, kind of like um, Red Heart Super Saver back in the 80s. It had a bit of a rough texture. Since then, because they still make Snuggly Wuggly, it has gotten softer. So this is somewhere in the middle. It's not when they first started out and it was really rough to today where it's a lot softer. It's kind of somewhere in the middle when they were doing a transition. So as a yarn, as a number three light or DK weight, it's okay. I think it's better now than it was a couple years ago. And I actually just went to michaels.com the other day to check and see if they still sell Snuggly Wuggly, which is a silly name for yarn. Yes, they still sell it and they've got even more colors and the pastels are really pretty. So I, I would suggest it. I, I, I totally enjoyed it. Now this one from Michaels and Loops and Threads called Kai. Um, I don't know what I, I, I'm still trying to figure out if I liked it or not. I mean, texture wise, it's soft. Um, I wasn't completely happy with the way the colors had worked out though. Although for the border here, yeah, because it, it looks like it, um, it's self striping almost because you know, the darker shade of pink and lighter and darker, lighter, darker, lighter. It worked out for me that way, but I don't know. I'm still undecided on that one. So is it? I'm just checking to see if it's acrylic or not. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this stuff I used on the border. All right. From Michaels loops and threads called Kai. I used the whole ball. 100% acrylic number three light. 3.5 ounces and it got me six rounds on the border so it actually went pretty far and I really appreciate that all right and then the snuggly wuggly which I really wish Michaels would find another name for it um, okay this labels in better shape so see snuggly wuggly oops and threads 100% acrylic these were five ounce balls of yarn so it gave me a lot of rows 
I mean, 29 rows, did I say? For this pink here, right? Um, that's a good, that's a good amount of yarn. But, of course, for me, my favorite part is the Lion Brand ice cream. Um, I really did have a love affair with this yarn a couple of years ago because it's in quite a few of my projects as I go through my pile. So here's the label for that one again. It's still 100% acrylic, number three light or DK weight. Um, and, you know, when it's acrylic like this, it's machine washable, it's machine dryable. Um, just always on cold water, always on the gentle cycle. And... If you do put it in the dryer, I would suggest the fluff setting or the setting that has no air and, I mean, no heat, you know, or lay it flat on your floor to dry. That's usually the best thing to do for it. So, I have a question for you guys. I wrote up notes for this. Now... <laughs> I showed you the notes in the video, so you can pause the video and try to read it, but, you know, uh, my camera doesn't fully focus on the words yet. Um, would you guys like me to type this out in the description box so you can have all of the information? Oh, I wish I could just scan it and add it to the description box. It would be so much easier that way. Instead of typing all that out. Or would you prefer a blog post where I should throw in a few pictures and then put all this in a blog post? Let me know down in the comments below which way you guys prefer it. Can you do the spoken word, you know, and get the gist of it and make it yourself, you know? Or do you need the written words in the description? Do you guys ever check the description box? That's a, a question. I saw one of them... Um, one of the YouTubers that I watch that gives you hints and tips and tricks on how to um, grow your YouTube channel, they had a poll the other day that was asking people, do you actually read the description box? And funny enough, I actually do. I read the description box on every video I watch. But it turns out not everybody does that. So let me know down in the comments below. And then um, let me know if it would be easier for you in a blog post and not in the description box. There we go. Um, so that is it for today's video, okay? I made this in August and September of 2019. It is 21 hours to make it, $18 for yarn, okay? It's 48 inches by 35, that's why I'm calling it a baby blanket. It's good for the stroller, the car seat, for a baby laying in the crib, you know? Um, I used an E or a 3.5 millimeter hook, chain 169. The first row is half double crochets all the way down the chain. When you get down to the end, you chain two, you turn, and then you do the half double crochet in between the first and the second half double crochet of the previous row. Go all the way down to the end, chain two, turn, do it again. Easy peasy. If you need a video tutorial on how to do that, let me know. But you know it's going to be months before I get there because right now I'm still going through my yarn stash. What's in the yarn bins? I'm still going through all of my hooks, all of my books and patterns, and I'm going through my project pile. So be patient. Tutorials are coming. I'd say about six months to a year away. Okay? Um, and I think that's it for today's video. Okay. So, today's Monday. I know this video is a day late. Um, I still... I'm sorry for that. Uh, I, I work really hard to be consistent and get these videos out every Sunday and every Wednesday. But just every now and then, you just you don't have the motivation to do it. Um, but my project pile is not getting any smaller. In fact, it's probably getting bigger because I'm still crocheting behind the scenes while I'm doing these videos on the stash I already have. <sighs> The life of a crafter, right? Uh, <laughs> I am, because I have so many blankets to go through, I'm going to try and get another project video up this week. I'm thinking by Thursday or Friday I'd like to have another one done so then I can do my next one on Sunday so I can get through them a little quicker. But until then, I will see you on Wednesday with whatever yarn bin, yarn bin video I already have done. Got to do the edits on it and I'll get it up for Wednesday. 
Um, I hope you guys are happy, healthy, and the holidays aren't stressing you out too much this time of year. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.